Alright guys, welcome back. We're going to be solving another question from second chapter of the Miriam textbook. And we have these two cables, AB and AC, that are attached at the top of the transmission tower. And we know that the tension in the cable AB is 8 kN. And we need to determine the required tension T in the cable AC in order to have the net effect of the two cable tension downward at point S. So we need a vertical resultant from these two forces at point A, which is downward, and, and we need to determine the magnitude of the resultant at point A. So we have two different forces, two different tensions. We have the TAB and we have the TAC, which each of them has both X and Y components. So this will be the X component for AB and this will be Y component. You can call this angle here alpha. And if you want to find the alpha, we know that the tangent of alpha will be the opposite, which is 40 meter divided by adjacent, which is uh, what we have from here to here, three plus 20, 50. And from here we can find alpha, which will be 38.7 degrees. And if we call this angle here, beta let's find the tangent of beta so the tangent of beta will be will be the opposite which is 30 divided by the adjacent which is what we have in here 50 and from here our beta will be 31 degrees so now that we have uh, the angles it's easy enough to find the x and y component so obviously our r only has y component since it has to be downward now uh, let's call our x and y like this in here. So that means that rx, which is the sum of all forces in x, has to be 0. And what we have for rx, we have the x component of tab, which is negative. So we have minus. And from the question, we know that a, b, t, a, b is 8. So 8 times sine of alpha will be our x component. So sine of 38.7 degrees. And our AC, I'm going to show the X and Y component of AC in red. This will be uh, TACX and this will be TACY. And forgot to show the other one. So TABY in here and this will be TABX. And for TACX, we will have, so first of all, it's positive and the tension is T. And this time we will have a cosine of beta which we know beta is 31 degrees and this will be equal to zero and from here we can find the magnitude of t which is the unknown in here and that would be 5.83 kilonewton and it's easy enough now to find the r so our r would be only ry and we only need to find the sum of all forces in y direction. And as we can see, both y components are negative. So for a, b, we will have uh, minus a. This time we will have a cosine of alpha. So cosine of alpha, which was 38.7 degrees. And we have minus TAC, which is 583 and this time we will have sine of beta which was 31 degrees and this would be minus 9.25 kilonewton which means the magnitude of r will be 9.25 kilonewton and that's what the question is asking and the final answer for this question and that would be all for this one please let me know if you have any questions regarding this one or the other three textbooks that we are covering in this channel and you guys take care i'll see you in the next video have a good one mm -hmm.